Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season two, episode four of Avatar The Last Airbender called The Swamp. So the gang are flying over the swamp and it's like Angus being like subconsciously being told to like to land and they start descending and Sokka kind of snaps them out of it and they all they feel a little weird except for Aang about landing there so he said, okay, we'll just go away, and then as they're leaving, a tornado just pops out of nowhere and just, like, decks them, and they, like, are falling, and so they have split up, um, Appa and Momo are together, and Ankatar and Sokka are in another group. And then we cut to where, uh, first, well, the very first thing, Iroh and Zuko were asking for money, and a guy makes fun of them and makes Iroh work for it, and he got really aggressive using his sword to make Iroh dance for his money. <laughs> and Zuko understandably got pissed about it. And then <laughs> you can tell that Zuko and Iroh are not used to being homeless or a refugee per se, or enemies of the Fire Nation, whatever you want to call it. Because he's like, we're royalty. They should be giving us stuff for free. I was like, mm, they got that touch of entitlement there, buddy. You need to ease that up. But um, I just thought it was kind of like insane. Because Iroh, like, even though the man was really aggressive with the guy, he was like, such a nice man. Because he gave them a gold piece. So, anyway. Back to the swamp. So, Appa got trapped in vines. So, Momo let him out. And then, Mo, um, Appa got trapped in vines again because he tried to fly away. And then, we cut to where something is following, um, Team Avatar. And so, Sokka suggests to make a fire. And here's the thing. Sokka keeps cutting all the vines and a bunch of limbs and stuff. And Aang's like, you probably shouldn't do that. You And... You know, Sokka's like, it's fine. Everything's fine. So anyway, they make a fire, and um, he's trying to kill this lightning bug that created this enormous light that illuminated that there's actually a bunch of creatures, and not, uh, they're not alone. And <clears throat> then we cut to where Appa is, like, getting really annoyed with Momo communicating with all the animals, so he growls, basically, like, shut up, growl, basically, and they all just stop. <laughs> Then we cut to where um, Sokka got taken, and Katara and Aang, they all got taken, and they all got hit in different directions, and so they all got separated. Then we cut to where the um, there's actually swamp waterbenders, so I call them swamp benders, or after Appa and Momo. Then we cut to where Katara saw this girl, or this woman, and then it I guess it looked a lot like her mom, and she thought she saw, and but... It wasn't, it was just like a branch, it was, a, it was definitely like a trick of the light for her, and she just broke down and cried, which was a very sad moment, too. Then we cut to where um, Sokka thought he saw uh, Yue, and she said, you did protect me. I thought it said, you didn't protect me when I first wrote this. But after, because um, I watched this all for, like two months ago, <laughs> then I kind of dropped it, so I'm re-watching the series again. And I had to turn the volume up really loud, and said, and she said, "You did protect me." And then she kind of vanished. Then Aang saw a girl with a flying boar that had Toph's laugh in it. So this is like the precursor to Toph. So anyway, and a flying boar. Then Appa bolts on the swamp benders because the because the swampers like, "Oh, just get, t stay calm. We're just going to eat you." <laughs> they just bolt. And so uh, we cut to um, Aang is following the girl. And then basically, Guitar, uh, Aang, and Sokka all got, ran into each other. And they're in the heart of the swamp. Then the swamp monster appears. You have a really cool action scene. Along with also Momo throwing stuff at the swamp benders. And eventually, they did get Momo because of a low branch. And then we catch up with a monster, it's also a bender, and so there's like a standoff, and um, finally they got the guy out of the vines because they confronted him and said, it, you're the avatar, follow me. So they go to the big tree, and he's like the protector of the swamp, and um, basically the guy said like he came here many years ago and found enlightenment there. 
And then we cut to where Aang uses the tree to, um, basically, he, Aang uses the tree to talk, basically. Visions of people we lost, and now is still connected, and that Aang's vision is someone that he will meet. So he uses the vines to find Appa, so they go, um, find him and stop the other swamp benders, and <laughs> the way... The swamp bitters talk to Katara because Katara's like, oh, you're a water bitter too. And the water bitter's like, that means we're camp folk. <laughs> it's just like, no. <laughs> and also they didn't create the tornado. And then basically they are like eating like bugs and stuff. And that um, crocodile um, catfish, that's what I think it is anyway, is their pet. <laughs> and um, also, then we come, come back to where that um, that guy that gave uh, Zuko and I wrote the gold coin, the blue spirit handled him and took his swords. And that was pretty much the end of the episode. Really good episode, actually. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good because, like, you get, like, a really crazy storyline and and how it all worked out was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, excuse me, I just had lunch. <laughs> but it was a really, really good episode. I really enjoyed it a lot. And, um, I gave it A+. Plus. That's what I did for this video because if you join... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment down below, tell what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.